the prequels are finished, now it's time for me to review the originals. Starting with episode 4. Yo, what's up everybody? Chitanas here. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the one that started it all. Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Let's do this. Again, as I said in the previous episodes that I reviewed, this movie might contain spoilers, so use extreme caution. So back in 1977, 28 years ago, before The Phantom Menace, all the way up to Revenge of the Sith, George Lucas wanted to create a science fiction blockbuster film that will appeal to sci-fi flicks from around the world. And it turns out, it was a success. It's a movie about a farm boy named Luke Skywalker stuck on a boring planet of Tatooine, which used to be a fun place to do pod racing. See my episode 1 review if you get my reference. But now look at it. It's a total wasteland. That's not cool. He lives with his Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Uncle Owen's the overprotective one. He's like Marlon from Finding Nemo, but not as a fish. He doesn't want Luke to go somewhere that can lead to a gruesome mess like his father did. Well, I know which father you're talking about, huh? huh? See what I get there? Elsewhere in a starship of some sort, Princess Leia wants to be saved from the biggest evil of the galaxy, Darth Vader, who was once Anakin Skywalker, but now someone give him a name. So she has some secret plans that can foil Vader's galaxy domination. And that's the whole point of the prologue. Leia wanted coordinates to her home planet of Alderaan. So she sent a message to Obi-Wan Kenobi, now a hermit? He's a Jedi Knight, for goodness sakes. Well, sure he's old now, but that doesn't mean he's an old hermit. That's just rude to say to an old person. But a sudden turn of events happened. Alderaan is fried, good riddance. So on the way, they meet Han Solo, who is the most awesome character in movie history. Harrison Ford killed it as the character, stole the show, and now he gets all the credit from Star Wars fans, audiences, and movie critics for centuries. Can't wait to see him in The Force Awakens. I hope his leg feels better. Of course, you want to give credit to Mark Hamill. He's the main character that everyone is rooting for. He'll be left out. But they realize that Princess Leia is in dire need of major assistance. So the gang escaped Tatooine in a spaceship Han calls the Millennium Falcon, which sounds like an awesome name to call this hunk of junk bucket of bolts, to save the princess and restore freedom from all evil in the galaxy. That was a very long synopsis, guys. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the animation and visual effects in this movie. Two of my favorite shots the part where the Millennium Falcon is zooming underneath the planet and the Star Destroyer is having a battle against another starship in the very beginning of the movie. It's so cinematic. It's like how a movie should be made in the 70s. Well, for science fiction, that is. The animation is nothing that I've seen before when I first saw it when I was very little. In the 1997 version, which is actually the year when I was born, is unique and new to me. Yeah, I know, some movie critics hated the fact that they have to redo it with lots of CGI creatures, but that doesn't mean you should go ruin it for them by insulting them, YouTubers out there. It's just that they, they worked so hard to make the movies so they can make more money for new animation in the next installment. The cinematography and action scenes can be cheesy, but it's actually realistic to me, even for a 1977 release movie. When I first saw it on videotape, I didn't get the whole thing of saving the universe from certain harm until I watched it recently, and now I understood the whole priority of this movie. They protect the galaxy for a reason, but how are they doing it without the other Jedi to look after them? Simple. They follow instructions, some use the Force, some use artillery, but with a little courage and teamwork, it will surely go a long way. In the end, Episode 4 was awesome. It did exactly what the beginning of the original should do. It has to have momentum, great story, character development, which did really well, and a new adventure. So... I rate A New Hope 5 out of 5 stars, and the Force will surely be with me. So Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments what's your favorite Star Wars character of all time. If you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Was it a great place to begin the originals or a pile of scrap? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, do so to smash that like button below. That'll help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends, favorite it, rate it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. This video can get over 2,000 likes. That'll be awesome. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.